Hello and welcome to my channel. A while ago I had to animate some flapping wings and um, I thought about it a little bit and um, there is actually a really easy and simple way to do it in Cinema 4D and I want to show it to you. So um, maybe we start with the basics of it. So just to show how it works. So let me uh, create a cone, for example, scale it up a little bit. And what we need is we need a little bit more of, of segments. So I upper the height segments let's say 60 something like that and also maybe some rotation segments then i'm going to make it editable and let me switch to the front view so what we're going to do now is we're going to go to um, character and select the joint tool and with the joint tool i press ctrl or command on, on mac and left click down here and then i just click and make some bones Okay, so now they are inside of this cone. We can do, and we can see it very good here. So, um, just going to drag them out of here, and now I have to bind those joints to the cone. The way you can do that is you select every joint, and then with Control click also the cone. Now everything is selected, and then you go to Character and go to Bind. So now, as you can see here, you have a weight tag now and a skin tag on the cone. So these joints are now bound to the cone. So we can uh, check that by selecting one of those uh, joints, maybe not the first joint, but you can select the second joint, for example, and uh, go to the rotate tool. As you can see, this is, the, this is the joint that's selected. And if I rotate it now, you can see, okay, everything is parented. So now we want it to be dynamic because um, you can do some uh, tendrils and stuff like that very easily with this method also. Um, so I'm going to select the first joint and I'm going to right click and go to, um, go to the rigging tag and select IK. We want to make it inverse kinematics. So now we have this tag on the first joint. So when we click on this tag, you can see that it wants an end joint. So the end joint is obviously the, the most up on the top I mean you can select whichever you joint you want so um, I'm just gonna drag it in so now those two joints are connected to each other the first and the last the first and the last joint um, you can see it a little bit on this uh, on this thin green line here yeah you can see it here so now the cool thing is that uh, we have this dynamics part on the IK if I click on that and enable it see that it starts to wobble you see you can do very cool stuff with it and it's very very fast and easy to to set up um, let's go to a little bit more of a practical um, example so I downloaded these wings from I don't know I think from Turbo Squid they are free so um, just make a little bit of research and you will find them so what we want to do is uh, we want to um, do basically the same thing we want to uh, make some uh, some bones here some joints and then apparent them and then make them dynamic so um, one thing to uh, to remember is that you uh, watch out that it's not too small because uh, sometimes uh, this will mess up your simulations we can go ahead and create a figure as a reference so this figure has a height of one 180 centimeters so just gonna scale down these wings and also what we want to do is we want to center this point so I'm in the front view now and I'm gonna select the joints tool it's already selected so and now I'm just control clicking hit one point here and then one point here and maybe one point here I mean again you could add more points maybe you should add more points yeah, let us add one more point let's see here and also one here okay so now we just have to align them correctly maybe maybe like so okay and now Select all joints. 
By the way, I'm selecting all the joints if I press on the parent object and middle click on the mouse on the mouse wheel. It's the middle click. It selects everything that is beneath it. And I'm going to select control click, select these three parts here. And then I am going to say bind. It takes a little bit. So let's check. Okay. Yes, this is looking correct now. Okay, so I can move. Okay, that's okay. So now um, we do the same thing. I'm just gonna uh, right click on this joint here and say IK. And this IK needs, this tag needs an, an end, and this end is obviously the joint number three. And then if I click on dynamics and enable it. Now, if I go to the root and, and rotate it, you can see, okay, it's flipping down. What we can do now is we can animate this root object, and that's very easy. If I just let me open the, um, the dope sheet. And uh, what we want to do is select this one, go to the coordinates. We want to start up here. Yes, it's looking good. Now I'm going to add a keyframe for this rotation point here on frame zero. And then let's go to, let's say, frame 10 and rotate it down. Like so, maybe. Okay. Oh, and by the way, and we could also, what we could also do is, I uh, made a little bit of a mistake. Undo this real quick. What I want to do is I want to enable the figure and uh, I want to uh, rotate um, the wings itself a little bit. So uh, what we could do is I'm just going to maybe make another group. So I group this um, uh, the wings and also the root in here. I rotate it now you can see yeah this is better like this okay I'm gonna rotate it up here and all these three keyframes then go to frame number 10 rotate it down now let's see yes this is looking good and um, I'm gonna make a loop out of it. So I just uh, duplicated the first frame. It goes back up. And the way we can uh, make this endless, make this an endless loop is uh, if we switch over to, to the F curve, for example, we can see these are the curves now. If I select this route, I can uh, it opens up a new um, control element here. And I can say that everything that happens after it, I want it to be repeated. So you can see it repeats in an endless loop. And if I just um, crank up this um, to, let's say, 500 frames now. Let's see. Yeah, it's good. Still not perfect. What we can do now is, what helps a lot, I think, is that in the forces tab of the IK, I can uh, change the gravity, and if I change the gravity to zero, you can see we get a lot of a lot smoother depolation, and also I can play with these strength values. So if I just upper the the drag, for example, yeah, and maybe lower the strength to let's say twenty. Nah, no, that's not. Yeah, we want it on thirty. Maybe position hole, what does this? No, position hole is not. Maybe what we have to do is we even have to make it even more extreme. Like so. And maybe a little bit slower also. Select everything. And just yeah. 
I mean, you get the point at this stage. So now we want these wings obviously uh, on the other side as well, but that's very easy to do. So if I just go ahead and create a, um, a symmetry object and put this now into the symmetry, you can see, yeah, voila. And now what we can also do is we can, this null object we can move around a little bit. So you get the point. And that's uh, basically it. Uh, with this method you can easily create any dynamic uh, like bending object and stuff like that. It's very, very easy to do like this. So I hope you have fun. And uh, if so, subscribe, leave me a comment. Yeah, and I see you next time. Bye.